Hey MCM Cribs of Worship, I'm Mike Santa Steven, the pastor here at Ambridge Christian Center. Come on in, let me show you my crib. So this is our sanctuary, this is where we gather together on the weekends to worship God. And believe it or not, this building used to be a bar and a club way back in the day. We were the second church planted by Allison Park back in 1998, and God has been doing amazing things since then. In fact, in the last two years, we've seen our attendance actually triple in size, and it's just amazing to see all the people that God is bringing here. Now we're going to go check out my office. Welcome to my office, and as you can see, I like to read a lot, so I've got a lot of books in my library, and um, also, this is where most of my work happens. Right over here, um, see we, we use this to solve a lot of church conflict. And uh, over here you can see my awesome dumbwaiter, which is actually like a small elevator that goes down to the lower level. And uh, so why don't you guys just go for a ride and we'll see you downstairs. This is our next stop and this is where we do kids church down here and God has blessed us with an awesome children's pastor. And we're really excited to see all that God has for the kids of Ambridge. And this room also doubles as a fellowship hall and we have uh, food and all kinds of stuff um, periodically and it's just an awesome time when we get to gather together. For our final shot, we'll take you up to the roof and show you an awesome view of Ambridge. While we're up here, we've got a quick announcement for City Reach this year. If you attend one of the City Reach sites, make sure that you sign up this week to help out. And if you attend Allison Park Church, you can sign up to help at one of the other City Reach sites this year. Your efforts would go such a long way into making a lasting difference in people's lives. Before I came to the church, my life was completely different. I didn't care what I said. I didn't care what I did. I didn't care who I hurt. I didn't think about the consequences. I didn't, you know, I just thought about me. Last year, I came to City Reach. We, we got flyers where I live at, and uh, like everybody else, I saw the free food and the free gifts, and I thought, what the heck. I came down, and not knowing they were having a service that day, I came in, and also, again, I says, I'll just see what it's all about. Chris came up, and he was talking to everybody, and uh, he asked if anybody wanted to come up and have Lord in her heart. I was sitting there and for some reason I felt something on my right arm, my shoulder and uh, I stood up. When I got up in front I felt this warmth all over my body not knowing what it was, not expecting it but that day everything in my life just changed completely. I understand more and I, I think a lot more before I speak. I'm not angry as I was before. Since I've been coming, my daughter has been coming here now, and my son-in-law, and uh, my one son, James, he lives in uh, South Carolina, he's going to church, and my other daughter, Kimberly, she's going to church now. And I've gotten baptized, and I think Mike and Jessica are just the greatest people. Even though people screw up a lot, and I've screwed up a lot, <laughs> But I, I, I feel better about myself now. And if I'm, if I'm ever down, I know that now I can talk to the Lord and He talks back to me. I, I've learned more about the Lord this last year than I did in my whole 63 years of living. 